Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Jay, and welcome back to our channel. So for today, we are going to discuss illustrating polygons about convexity, angles, and sides. Ngayon, define muna natin ano, kung ano ibig sabihin ng polygon. The word polygon comes from two words, poly which means many, and gon which means angles. And a polygon is a close plane figure formed by line segments. So, tandaan po natin yung, kung ano ibig sabihin ng polygon. Let's consider these figures. We are going to identify if it is a polygon or not a polygon. First figure. Itong figure na ito, this is a polygon. Close siya. Close plane figure, at the same time, meron siyang line segments. Next, second figure, this is not a polygon. Third figure, this is a polygon. Fourth, this is not a polygon. This one, this is a polygon. This one, tama ka dyan. this is a polygon. How about this? Tama ka. This is not a polygon. How about this one? Tama ka dyan. This is not a polygon. Why? Sabi sa definition natin ng, ng polygon, a close plane figure. Eh, itong uh, figure na ito ay hindi close. So, this is not a polygon. So, let's consider these figures or these polygons. There are two types of polygons. First one, these figures, this is what we call the convex polygon. What is a convex polygon? A polygon is said to be convex if the lines containing the sides of the polygon do not cross the interior and interior of the polygon. So, tandaan po natin kung ano big sabihin ng convex polygon. Next one is concave polygon. So, ito yung mga concave polygon naman. When we say concave polygon, is defined as a polygon with one or more interior angles greater than 180 degrees. So, ayan po yung pagkakaiba ng convex polygon and concave polygon. When all the sides and angles of a polygon are equal, the polygon is called a regular. Ibig sabihin, kapag equal yung sides, equal yung angles po ng isang polygon, this is what we call regular polygon. Sir, paano po pag, ano, pag uh, hindi equal yung sides and angles? Ang ibig sabihin nun ay irregular polygon po yan. So, let's consider this uh, polygon. Ito ay isang example ng regular polygon. The segments forming the polygon are called sides. The points where the segments meet are called vertices. The angles formed by two adjacent sides are called the angles of the polygon. Polygons are named by writing their consecutive vertices in a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. So, pangalanan natin kung, anong, kung saan dyan yung mga consecutive vertices, saan yung angles, saan yung sides. Polygon A, B, C, D, E. Pwede, yun po yung uh, pangalan ng ating polygon. Pwede rin siyang polygon B, C, D, E, A. Pwede rin siyang C, polygon C, D, E, A, B. Okay? Huwag lang pong Polygon D, E, C, A, B. Bawal po yun. Okay, dapat magkakasunod po. Okay, next. These are the vertices of this polygon. Ibig sabihin pag vertices, yung mga corners. Okay, A, B, C, D, and Yun yung mga vertices ng ating polygon. How about the sides? Ito yung mga sides naman. Side AB, side BC, side CD, side DE, and side EA. 
Yan naman yung mga sides ng ating regular polygon. How about the angles? Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, and angle E. So, yan, yan naman yung mga angles po ng ating regular polygon. Okay? Now, there are two types of angles associated with a convex polygon. The exterior angle and the interior angle. When we say exterior angle of a convex polygon is an angle that is, that is both supplement and adjacent to one of its interior angles. So, the, the, uh, in the convex polygon A, B, C, D, meron dito yung mga angles just like angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, and angle E. Yan yung mga angles po natin. Pwede rin siyang angle B, A, B, C. Angle B po yun. Angle B, C, D. Angle C po yung sinasabi po natin. Okay. Itong angles na ito, yung angle A, angle B, C, D, and E, ang tawag natin dyan ay, yan yung mga interior angles. Nasa loob po ng ating regular polygon. Okay? While angle F, E, D, or angle E, itong angle na to, or angle F, E, D, itong angle na to, ito ay isang example ng exterior angle. Ibig sabihin, nasa labas po yung angle po natin. Right? Now, consecutive vertices are vertices on the common side of the polygon. Consecutive sides naman are the sides that have common vertex. A segment joining two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon called diagonal. So in a polygon A, B, C, D, let's consider this figure. Saan dyan yung mga consecutive vertices? Consecutive vertices are, ito yan, A and B, B and C, C and D, D and E, E and A. Yan yung mga consecutive vertices or consecutive corners. Yung mag, ibig sabihin, magkakasunod na vertices. Okay? Ito naman yung hindi consecutive vertices. A and C, hindi yan consecutive vertices. A and D, hindi yan consecutive vertices. Next, yung consecutive sides naman. Yung magka magkakasunod na sides. Just like segment AB and segment BC. Or side BC and side CD. Side CD and side DE. Side DE and side EA. Yan naman yung mga consecutive sides. Okay? Next, meron tayong mafoform na diagonals po dito. Just like diagonal AC. Ayan yung mga, yun yung isa sa mga diagonals po ng ating regular polygon. Meron pa, si, uh, diagonal AD. Diagonal BE. Diagonal BD. And diagonal CE. Yan yung mga diagonals po natin uh, ito, based from this um, regular polygon. Okay? So, polygons may be classified by the number of sides they have. So, we are going to name what uh, polygon itong mga nandito sa screen po natin. First one, ilang sides kaya Meron dun sa is, uh, first figure. Three sides po yan. Three sides po. Ang tawag natin dyan ay triangle. Second figure. Ilang sides ito? Four, a uh, one, two, three, four. Four-sided polygon. Kapag four sides, ang tawag natin dyan ay quadrilateral. Okay? Quadrilateral po from the word quad. Okay, 4 po yun. Next figure, bilangin natin yung sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Merong 5 na sides. Ang tawag natin kapag may 5 na sides, that is pentagon. Next, bilangin natin yung susunod na, na figure kung, il, uh, kung ilan ang sides. 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six-sided polygon. Ibig sabihin, ang tawag dyan kapag may six sides ay hexagon. Next, bilangin natin yung sides dun sa next uh, figure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 sides or 7-sided uh, polygon. Pag 7 sides, ang tawag natin dyan ay heptagon. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 sides or 8-sided polygon. Kapag may 8 sides, ang tawag natin dyan ay octagon. Ayan, tandaan natin ha, yung mga pangalan ng bawat polygons po natin. Next, bilangin natin yung sides nito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Kapag may 9 sides, ang tawag natin dyan ay nonagon. Okay? Next, bilangin natin yung sides nito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 sides or 10-sided polygon. Ang tawag natin sa kanya ay decagon. Okay? Next, bilangin natin yung susunod na figure. Ilang sides niyan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 sides po yan or 11-sided polygon. Ang tawag sa kanya ay andecagon. Next, Figure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12-sided polygon. Anong tawag natin sa kanya? This is what we call dodecagon. So, yan lang muna yung mga polygons na pag-aaralan natin ngayon. And then, yung ibang polygons po ay pwede nyong ma-encounter ma yan when you were in grade 8, grade 9, and grade 10 or higher levels po. Okay, so thanks for watching, keep safe and God bless.